let's continue our story. When the Smurfs arrived in the spooky woods, they found Smurfette held prisoner. The Smurf Napper, who called herself Vexy, looked like a Smurf, but was pale in color rather than blue. Gutsy Smurf demanded that Vexy release Smurfette, but she refused, saying that she was taking her sister back to their papa. Vexy then carried Smurfette off even deeper into the forest. But before the Smurfs could stop her, a cursed frog leaped out and attacked them. Let's Smurf! Ugh. As Papa Smurf suspected, Vexy had taken Smurfette to Gargamel's hovel. As the Smurfs made their way inside, they found Smurfette trapped while Vexy mixed a strange potion. The Smurfs pleaded with Vexy to release Smurfette, but she refused, telling them again that Smurfette was her sister and belonged to their true Papa, Gargamel. But the Smurfs are Smurfette's real family and they remained determined to free her. Vexy finished mixing her potion and set the bottle on the ground. The potion opened another portal, which revealed their old nemesis, Azrael. Vexy grabbed Smurfette and leaped into the portal, but when the Smurfs tried to follow, Azrael stood menacingly in their path. The Smurfs knew that they would have to deal with a snarling Azrael before they could continue. Smurf!
Looks like we made it. As soon as the portal opened, the Smurf spotted Smurfette, now held captive by Gargamel, Vexy, and another Smurf-like boy creature who shared her same pale color. It was Hackus, Vexy's brother, who, like his sister, had been created by Gargamel. Gargamel was shocked to see his enemies, the Smurfs, appear. But his initial surprise was short-lived. He ordered Vexy and Hackus, his naughties, to attack. With tremendous strength, Hackus knocked the Smurfs back like they were Smurf bowling pins. The naughties forced the Smurfs to retreat into a nearby candy store, where the naughties continued their pursuit while Gargamel snuck off to conjure another evil spell. While it may have been just the two of them against the Smurfs, the odds somehow seem stacked against our heroes. Let's Smurf! desperate journey through the snow and ice led the Smurfs to the top of the mountain, just when all seemed lost. The magic in the crystals suddenly returned, and the Smurfs prepared to Smurf a portal to find Smurfette. But before they could leave, Brainy Smurf shakily observed that they were not completely alone. As the Smurfs turned to see what was frightening him, they were relieved to be greeted only by a cute polar bear cub. Oh, But Papa Smurf remained wary of Gargamel, and his fears were realized when he saw another spell headed directly for their new polar bear friend. Unknown to the Smurfs, this spell was also part of Gargamel's evil plan to prevent them from rescuing Smurfette.
exiting the portal, the Smurfs carefully walked across a bridge suspended over a giant pool of boiling lava as a flock of silly-looking birds flew overhead. Papa Smurf knew that they would not have to wait long for another Gargamel spell. Back in Paris, Smurfette told Gargamel she believed that her family would still save her. Gargamel replied, How are the Smurfs going to save you when they won't be able to save themselves? Gargamel then cast a spell into the lava. Forget about the colonel. Let's see how they like a wizard's fried chicken. <laughs> Let's smurf! Another win for the Smurfs. The Smurfs crept quietly into Gargamel's theater, where he was performing his magic show. But Gargamel still somehow managed to spot them and retreated behind the stage curtains to escape. The Smurfs gave chase, only to discover that Gargamel had trapped their sister Smurfette in his evil Smurf Stractor a machine designed to steal the essence of a Smurf. With a devilish grin, Gargamel proclaimed, This is the end, my little blue Smurfs. Once I extract all of your essence with my Smurf Stractor, I shall rule the entire world! <laughs> Lewanda and I will stop you, silly Smurfs. Get ready to feel the wrath of the magnificent Gargamel! <laughs> Let's Smurf! Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. 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 Uh.
Luanda hate me! Just remember, this won't be the last time you face the mighty Garganel! <laughs> The Smurfs rallied to save Smurfette. As the battle raged on, Gargamel stumbled into the Smurf's tractor, damaging it. While he frantically tried to make repairs, the Smurfs freed Smurfette. But Gargamel still had his naughties. He called upon them to stop the Smurfs. But Vexy and Hackus hesitated. They had come to care about Smurfette. The naughties remembered how she had pleaded with Gargamel to feed them when he cruelly refused showing them the power of love. Vexy and Hackus now joined forces with the Smurfs and tripped Gargamel into the Smurf's tractor. It exploded and sent him high into the air, showering a rain of sparks just like a fireworks show. While it had been a long and difficult quest to rescue Smurfette from Gargamel and Azrael, the Smurfs joyfully reunited and reminded themselves that family is always there for one another, no matter what the odds. Smurfette tearfully thanked Papa and all the Smurfs for saving her. With the group together, Papa Smurf opened a final portal to return them all to Smurf Village. But before they left, Papa Smurf noticed that Vexy and Hackus were also crying as Hackus sobbed, Hackus leaking. Papa knew the Naughties were really Smurfs at heart, just like Smurfette, even though they had been created by Gargamel. And now, they had turned as blue as any Smurf. Smurfette told the Smurfs how it happened. Gargamel had used a potion on the Naughties, the same secret formula that had changed Smurfette herself so many years ago. His plan was to transform his Naughties into Smurfs, and then extract their essence too. But this plan, like all his others, had been foiled by the Smurfs. With Vexy and Hackus along for the ride, the Smurfs leapt together into the portal to return home. Back in Smurf Village, Smurfette's birthday party was now finally underway. Every Smurf, including Vexy and Hackus, gathered around her Smurfberry cake to celebrate. As the Smurfs sang and danced, their troubles with Gargamel became a distant memory. Life for the Smurfs had returned to normal. That is, at least until their next adventure. <laughs>